Hey everybody, Wayne here. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm going to be making banana pudding cupcakes. They're really good. They're easy. Let's show you how to do this. These are super easy to make. Box of cake mix, vanilla, box of instant banana pudding, milk, vegetable oil, smashed bananas, very ripe bananas, make sure they're ripe. Eggs, and some crushed vanilla wafers. Let's get started. First, I'm gonna open this. Guess I could have done this earlier, huh? I'm gonna put that into a mixing bowl. And I'm using uh, Betty Crocker French Vanilla Super Moist Cake Mix. And to that, I have the Jello Brand Banana Cream Instant Pudding. This is the 5.1 ounce package. I'm gonna add that right to the cake mix. And to that, I'm gonna add one cup of milk. half a cup of vegetable oil, three eggs, and we're gonna mix this up really well. Got a hand mixer. I'm gonna do this for about um, two minutes maybe. For about two minutes with the hand mixer, when I'm done with this, I have two very ripe smashed bananas. I'm gonna just mush them up with a fork. I'm gonna put that right into the mix. If you use green bananas, it's just not gonna have the flavor as a ripe banana. Then to this, I have the good old Nilla wafers, about a cup and a half, I crushed them by hand, not, I don't want to make total crumbs or big hunks, just kind of in between. I'm going to dump that in there. Now I'm not going to blend it with the hand mixer. I'm going to fold this all in, kind of mix it all together. It already smells awesome. All right, excellent. Now I have standard size cupcakes, cupcake pan, I put the papers in here. I'm gonna fill these about three quarters of the way through, three quarters of the way up. Okay, I have the cupcakes filled. These are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 25 minutes, or until you can stick a toothpick in it and it comes out clean into the oven. Okay, these have been in the oven for about 26, 27 minutes. I tested them, did the old toothpick trick. Comes out clean, these are done. Now before we go to the next step, gotta let these completely cool. All right, the cupcakes have cooled down completely. Take them out of the pan like this. And now what we do is we frost them or coat them with whip topping. You can use Cool Whip or any store brand whip topping you want. And what I do is I get a little sandwich bag from my lunches, put a little bit of the whip topping in, put it to the corner, squeeze a little bit and trim just a little bit of the bottom off. And you got a fancy piping bag. And we're just gonna do this. Then to this, I'm gonna take some I have some Nilla wafer I crushed. We're just gonna sprinkle a little bit on the top. And I'll take a dried banana chip, put it right in there. All right, have this delicious looking banana pudding cupcake. Look at this, so good. I'm gonna try this. Feel that paper up, it's so moist. 
very moist with that fresh bananas in it. Now I'll take this chip off. Well, let's try the cupcake first. Mmm. Delicious. It's like banana bread cupcakes. Full of banana flavor, whipped cream, super, super moist, easy to make, delicious. If you like this video, please click like, hit subscribe to keep up to date on everything I make, and enjoy. I'm going back to my cupcake. See you next time.